Hello, it's Astria with the reading for the collective. Take what resonates, turn up the rest. I appreciate your positive energy. Thank you for supporting one another. Thank you for your sweet messages, your donations, your likes, your subscribes. Let's see what what is the subject? Family sorrow. Okay, so there could be a family that's in sorrow. Um, your family, someone else's family. Broken bridge, unsuccessful outcome to a problem. So there's the family that maybe they broke bridges with you, they burned a bridge with you. Well, they can't get across, they, they thought that there was some way that they could get across. Or maybe someone can't come back, or they thought that they were going to be able to, I don't know, they were, they were going to solve a problem somehow, now they're in sorrow. You are highly thought of. I don't know what they were trying to do, it has to do with your reputation. They can't get back what they did, they can't get back what they did. Ask it, someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. So, with casket being under the deck, this could definitely have to do with someone that passed away in your family or in a family. I mean, this could have to do with someone passing on, but this could also be it's the end of a situation. Someone could have ended something with you. It's a broken bridge. You were hardly thought of. Someone could have misjudged you. And now they can't come back. Or someone purposely tried to create a problem for you. Your reputation to solve some type of a problem, or they created a problem for themselves. I don't know what the problem was. That someone is going, well, you're going out of someone's life. Someone can't solve whatever it is. I feel like it has to do with your reputation or how someone viewed you or tried to make you out, out to be. Family sorrow. We need to find out whose family this is. We need to find out whose family this is and if what kind of an ending this is. Family sorrow. Tell me about this family sorrow. What is Whose family is it? Or tell me, uh, the son. It's gonna have to do with a masculine's family. Because I feel like the sun is masculine, where like the moon is feminine. There could be a Leo involved. Well, well, but the moon is under the deck, so. Something that was hidden has come to light. Or someone wanted someone to be lost in the subconscious. Or there's a maternal line that got affected by a paternal line. Or something's coming to light about this family. Tell me more about this family sorrow. Eight of Cups reversed. Someone wanted someone to stay stagnant or to feel like there was nothing worth moving forward towards. 
Yeah, Six of Wands reverse. This has to do with you failing. You falling off, you failing, you not being celebrated, you not being seen. A Queen of Cups. A s family is sad because you are in the upright. They can be shamed because you're a Queen of Pentacles. You're loving, grounded, feminine energy. Someone was trying to keep keep you apart from someone. Broken bridge. Tell me about this unsuccessful problem. I'm definitely going to continue to clarify. Um, unsuccessful problem. Page of Pentacles reverse. They didn't want you to get an offer. They didn't want your you to have this potential. Someone did some bad business. Corruption. Someone really put you through the ringer here. You're a battle wounded soldier that maybe they weren't expecting you to defend yourself. Has it to do with a lack of love or blocking love? Or you loving yourself? You are highly thought of. Somebody thinks highly of you. Or people think highly of you. They, they try to block your potential or an offer or a proposal. Four of Swords reverse. Queen of Wands in the upright. Someone's sick over how you are seen. You left a situation. You moved on, you healed, someone was trying to bully you, or there was a conflict based in ego. Someone was trying to block someone from coming towards you, someone sees you. As you are, someone sees you, you are highly thought of. Two of Cups fell out as well, and the reverse has something to do with someone trying to block a partnership. So there's a whole family that's upset. They were trying to block a proposal or an opportunity, but someone sees you, or people see you, you are highly thought of, and I just did a reading, and the whole thing has to do with your appearances and how you come across and somebody trying to twist, twist how people see you or how someone sees you and someone's leaving. Someone could be very sad or there's someone here that's a sweet talker. Tell me more about this family sorrow. Something could be coming to light about this whole family. It could be your happiness. Someone's a family's in sorrow because you're joyous and they feel stagnant. You escaped something. What a strange family. There's something about not achieving and not acquiring something. Wanting someone to feel like they, they weren't, they, they were stuck, that there was nothing worth moving forward for. There's a blocked love, blocked, trying to block two people from coming together. A whole family, somebody was lying or wearing a mask trying to block two people from coming together or someone was in a relationship wearing a mask. Someone was trying to block two people from coming together. There's a whole family involved. Someone lost their influence. Affair, there's something about love here. Definitely something about love. Publicity reverse, someone not wanting something to come to light or someone to be seen. 
flirtation. There's something about a couple. Someone's losing their influence. Their mask came off. I'm not sure whose family this is. Someone could feel stagnant. They didn't want something to be seen. Something could be coming out about what they did. Or they're trying to hide what they did. Both of these, affair and flirtation. This is someone's joy, someone's happiness. They were trying to block someone from being seen. They were trying to make, they wanted someone to be stuck. A whole family? didn't want this love, and now they're upset. Page of Pentacles reverse. Unsuccessful problem to, unsuccessful outcome to a problem they didn't want, or they didn't get, they're not getting something, or they didn't want you to get this proposal. Family sorrow. Criticism. They were criticizing you. Or because they criticized you. Yeah, this has to do with defamation. Someone was trying to block you from receiving an opportunity, blocking a proposal. Someone was criticizing you. Maybe that's what's exposed. There's some sort of message here attached to this extreme information. Something was lacking in principle. Someone did something impulsively about this love or this couple. This family or, or a whole family are connected to someone who did something unprincipled or a whole family did something to criticize you to block this, this love. A whole family did something to criticize you, to block a proposal, to block love. They criticized you. They're unhappy because it didn't work because someone sees you. It, even though they criticized you, you're highly thought of. And someone could actually be sick over something here. And someone is, maybe someone is leaving a family behind. or they're being discovered. They didn't want you to get, yeah, two of cups reverse under the deck. It's something about keeping you apart from someone, a whole family, but there's this extreme information. I feel like they're caught. They're caught and it was deeply troubling. It's very, it's lacking in, yeah, ding. Okay, so there's a message that implicates a family. They did something deeply unprincipled. So the problem is, is that twofold, it's a bad look and two, it didn't work. It's deeply unprincipled what they did. They were putting you down Queen, it does, and it has something to do, do with the way you look. Queen of Wands, or that you're very independent, or there's something to do with, like in the last reading, there's something about your cultural background, um, what side of the tracks you come from, um, you know, you're too light, you're too dark, you're the wrong religion, or you're not religious enough, or, uh, you know, you're your sacral chakra, you have a, an energy about you, or uh, you're a queen of wands, you're very independent, you know, you do things on your own, you don't ask permission, you just, but you don't think you're, everything's coming from a good place, you feel inspired. It could also be the way someone's attracted to you, someone could have tried to like twist, you know, the way you look, something about the way you look so that people saw you as like trashy instead of, uh, or not worthy. Um, you know, some people just have a very, very strong, you know, sensual energy about them and could be someone that 
you know, doesn't connect physically with people at all or very often. So, but somebody could have judged you by that. But they also, this was calculated. That's what's sickening about it. Something was calculated or they thought that, that this was the right way to go. But you endured something on top of everything else. If anything, it's like merit making. It created more merit for you. They tried to keep you out of an organization. Or this family heads an organization or they they're, these are some type of gatekeepers. Queen of Wands, you are very highly thought of. Someone is sick over it. Manipulation. Someone is sick over them. Someone tried to manipulate a situation, but you endured. You're very strong. You have a strong spirit. Strong willpower. You didn't go into agreement with something here. It doesn't matter how much they say. It doesn't how, matter how much they repeat what they're doing. It doesn't matter how many of them there are. Your truth is you are who you are. You lead with the heart. Uh, you're not apologizing for who you are. You, you lead with love. You're, you're passionate. There's definitely something about someone's attraction to you. Someone was trying to twist that around. They wanted someone to be detached from you. They wanted someone to see you as like, um, you know, someone that you maybe connect with physically, but that you don't marry. So this whole family did this. They could have done this. Well, the reason, the reason why is not here. It's because they're either trying to advocate for someone for themselves to be in this Two of Cups. Uh, there could be jealousy, there could be bigotry, there could be um, money at stake. Because there's something about a couple. They don't want you to be seen as well. Trying to hide a Queen of Wands is ridiculous. A Queen of Wands in the upright because it's like the exact opposite. God made you. It's like trying to hide a, a sunflower. Why would you do that? You stand tall and beautiful, enigmatic. Whatever it is about you, you know, there's no reason to hide you. And that's the opposite. You can't hide. Sunflowers stand up very tall. They're very bright. I think, you know, you're warm, you have warm energy. This is also like, you know, popular, someone who's real popular. You make people feel good. So, and people like you, you are highly thought of. Someone tried to turn something around. They tried to manipulate how you look or how, how people respond to you energetically. And a lot of it has to do with your sacral chakra. And they calculated it too. Someone thought this through, you know, what can they do? How can they block you? And they wanted you to feel stagnant too. There's something about also with this Queen of Wands trying to make us Queen of Wands feel stagnant. You could be a fire sign. You don't have to be. Trying to put out your fire. Um, just not possible. Not possible. It's something about a couple. This also has to do with like your your foundation, your healthy habits. So someone might have like wanted you to be sickly. Someone could have tried to like block something from you so that you wouldn't take care of yourself. This eight of cups reverse that you would feel so depressed you would like become dull or stagnant. But 
they underestimated your intelligence as well because they were looking at you a certain way because they they underestimated you they thought they still they don't understand you still know who this family is or what their motives are yet yeah venus it's like trying to stop the planet venus from existing there's nothing it's natural you are natural god made you you're a piece of god it's like trying to stamp out a flower or you know darken venus it's romance, it's beauty. It's Venus energy. It's love. Yeah, and there's something about relationships here. Intimacy, partnerships, romance. There's something about romance and someone thinking highly of you. And you being this divine feminine energy. You know, it's like some it's like trying to shame you. Some they tried to shame you somehow. It's the second reading coming out in a row about, like, romance. Someone might have tried to make it seem like you were a bad gamble or, like... Or that you were, like, using your sensuality so that someone couldn't assert themselves and that you, you know, that that's just not the right choice to make for conventional reasons, that maybe you were after someone's money, that that was the only reason that you were enthusiastic about someone. Whatever they did was very, very unprincipled. There was some sort of a connection or there's some type of a connection that you have with someone. So someone could just be realizing what their family did yeah, someone was trying to create some type of indecision, and then they were also trying to block your business, trying to stop you from negotiating, trying to deny that you are unique and very, very, uh, you know, progressive thinker. You think future thinking, you think outside of the box, so much more than this queen of wands only. Very narrow-minded, people here and they didn't want something to be seen they didn't want something to be seen the two of cups reverse it's all about blocking a partnership blocking you trying to criticize you but this criticism led to some type of a break it worked against them because People see you, people love you, someone loves you, someone sees through this criticism or now they're being held accountable for what they said about you. There's definitely some type of um, receipts. They left a trail as well. They left some type of a trail and someone might realize this and wanna um, leave this family behind for what they did. This could also be the other perspective is, this could be your family that worked against you because out, of, I, out of jealousy or they were trying to block you from this relationship. So let's find, let's see. Um, Working behind the scenes to work against you. If they felt invincible at some point, now they don't. Doing this. Tell me about this family that's in sorrow. It has to do with a masculine energy's romantic feelings for you. There's a family here in sorrow because they were trying to manipulate this relationship. I feel like, you know, it could be a masculine, it's their family that did this with the sun coming out. We have flirtation, we have affair, 
we have prince, we have knight. So there's something about someone's chivalrous energy towards you, somebody's romantic feelings. They didn't want someone to grow. They wanted someone to stay stagnant. And they're in sorrow over this. You know, this could be a family that's... They had to contend with what they did trying to manipulate a situation for whatever reason. You know, they could have um, criticized you because they felt like this about you. They could have been very bigoted. You know, it's your religion, it's how you dress, it's your culture, it's what school you did or didn't go to. You know, it's your race, it could be your, your gender. It's some low vibrational you know, narrow-minded thinking. It could be your spiritual, their religious. So, yeah, monk nun under the deck. Someone was real pious here. Yeah, but I feel like somebody here also though does something behind the scenes. Someone was trying to manipulate something behind the scenes. This could be somebody that has some sort of arcane knowledge, practices some type of esoteric portion of a religion. There could be someone here who's seeing their own religion in a different way. So this is the second reading coming out about how you were judged. So there could be also something that I'm, there's more information from the last read. Someone is leaving someone's life. It's, or it's the end of a situation. Because they were definitely trying to manipulate the way you come across how you were seen. They were definitely criticizing you. They're trying to make someone or people see you through this very um, narrow-minded viewpoint. There's something, maybe this is a family of a masculine or it's a karmix family that was trying to confuse this or two families. Maybe your family as well. Maybe it's just too many people involved. Your own family, jealousy, greed, karmic families trying to, you know, arrange a marriage. Maybe this is a, a marriage arrangement. Someone trying to block love. Maybe this is something more with that mystic card. Maybe this has to do with a family that knows something about your, you know, these are, if they practice some type of esoteric, spiritual, whatever it is that they, you know, these are people who could come across as very, you know, religious, but that also have some sort of esoteric thing going on more underground, or your family's involved in something here, and there's something about your destiny. I'm not sure yet. Um, but definitely somebody's trying to manipulate how you're seen and what you get. And the purpose, the reason's not really coming out. Um, what else do we need to know? Oops. So we have nine. One. Could be significant. Numbers nine or one. One, nine. I mean... 91 is significant to someone. Uh, or the number 19, maybe 2019, something happened. Or January 9th. Or September 1st. Mm. 
Neptune, Leo, a North Node. We have two Neptunes here. Cancer, so someone's mother. I feel like someone's mother involved. There could be a Cancer involved. Could be a Pisces involved. A Leo, a Gemini. It's something about your North Node. Maybe Sagittarius. Capri Capricorn, Aquarius. Someone thinking out of the box. Some some people, twelfth house, acting out of uh, you know doing something hidden or having to there's something that is unseen a connection that's unseen. It's gonna have to do with you know home and family. It's got to do with finances, siblings. It could be, uh, you know, family, entertainment, joy, being seen. Definitely about how something is seen because the sun and publicity, not wanting someone to be seen, block blocking you, not wanting you to be seen through this relationship. There could be a whole family that didn't like that you were part of something here, was trying to block you from being seen because of a connection. Your own family could have hated that you were, there was a support system here, something romantic, or somebody's family, or they didn't like, they didn't want someone to be seen with you, or they don't, they're in sorrow, or someone's coming towards you that sees you. I feel like this is like bigger than just one family for some reason. First house, this, this could be about like um, your image. Ninth house, this could be about belief systems. You know, how people, what people believe in, philosophy, how, how. Someone's perspective. Someone's mother could have really guided someone away from you. Or this has to do with motherhood. So someone's going out of your life. Your, your own mother could have been part of this. Or masculine's mother was part of this. There's something deeper going on here. I feel like that's why it's coming up again, because there's something that didn't quite come out in the last one. What am I missing? Sun, something's coming out here. Someone wants you to be passed on. They wanted someone to pass on you. It could be something about charity or someone getting money from someone. We wanted someone to pass on you. It has to do with relationships. There could be a Pisces involved. It has to do with abundance. A family's involved wanting someone to pass on you. It has to do with abundance. Honestly, it could be your own family or this whole family not wanting some sort of like, maybe something felt, felt destined or something here. They didn't want you to have it. Tell me about this family sorrow. Dangerous abundance. Dangerous abundance. Projection. A lot of bad vibes, receiving hidden karma. Third eye. There's something about the way you look as well, and romantic feelings, and you taking care of yourself. A divine masculine. 
This is your counterpart. There could be, they were trying to get someone else to connect with this masculine energy. Someone was criticizing you here. Or this family, there could be someone here who has, you know, there's family money involved and they didn't want you to be part of it. Or there's a family that didn't want you to have this abundance. They felt like you would be above them or you would surpass them. Someone wanted you to be passed on. There's something about your prayers from the past though. Um, that are playing out now that also has to do with your creativity and your third eye. You being very, very perceptive. You might have removed yourself from the situation, no knowing what people were doing, trying to get you removed from a situation, for sure. Someone wanted you to be passed on. It's definitely something about romance, someone's romantic feelings, and a whole family's in sorrow, though. Someone was criticizing someone, trying to block somebody's potential. You have good karma, though. You're a good karma, your prayers from the past. They're, they didn't, they're not achieving trying to block you. So... You can have the Deva realm on your side too. It has to do with your lightness of being. Someone here could be very obsessed with you, jealous. There could be a Cancer involved. Definitely something about a glow up or how you take care of yourself. The fact that you meditate. And someone's romantic feelings for you. This might not be an, an ex. This could be someone that is coming in. You have really good karma. So they're criticizing someone with really good karma. Unhinged. Someone's unhinged because of your good karma. They were trying to block you and criticize you, but you have good karma, so they can't manipulate the situation. Yeah, you're connected to God and the divine energies. You, that's your source. That's what guides you. That's what you answer to. That's what you're in service of. That's what drives you. There could be a masculine energy watching this, something that's meant to be here or looking into your life. Definitely cleanse your space. It has to do with your creativity, maybe what you're up to. They could be trying to learn something in regards to you. You who the angels love like their baby. That person could be a Gemini. Looking at what, how you make money, what's making you grounded, how grounded you are. MNOP could be significant. There could be a Scorpio involved. You could be a Scorpio. Yeah, something about your investments, what you're investing your time into. Someone could be looking into something. You really could have... You know, you might not post much or share much. Someone's trying to look look into what you've... They see maybe the way you look. You look different. Yeah, definitely someone trying to look into your records. A, B, C, D could be significant. So they try to manipulate you and you're highly thought of. You have this Venus energy. It didn't work. Um... Substance use or handling is coming out. You could, someone could not be able to handle whatever this is. They could be sick. 
Yeah, because they did something to you on purpose. Someone who did something to you on purpose could be sick. They could be in denial. They could be using a lot of, um, you know, vices to help them manage something very arrogant. Whoever this is is very arrogant. They can't stand that you are, you could be a Taurus or have, have strong Taurus placements. You could, there could be something about children or your children. Definitely something about a Gemini, maybe a Virgo. A mean family. There's definitely something about a mean family involved. I just heard a horn. Try to attack this divine feminine energy. Try to block love romance, connection, and doing something on purpose to have you passed on. And definitely religion could be involved. There's something about you focusing in on whatever it is that impassions you. There's something about a relationship here. We have two of cups reverse. We have romance. We have affair. We have knight. We have prince. We have Venus. You are highly thought of. House seven relationships, profound relationships. I'm missing. Well, I just looked down and I saw this. This when I took out the bag of dye. This number five is here, sticking out. So fifth house energy. Something about someone making you an offer. There could be legal issues here. Someone could have tried to get you tangled up somehow. It's something about you not getting this money. There's something about abundance, dangerous abundance, jackpot, dangerous abundance. They wanted you to be rejected. The family was worried about this abundance. They wanted you to be rejected. They didn't want you to get this offer. Yeah, offer reverse. They were trying to block this offer. The problem is, is that you have this good karma. They were criticizing you, but it's not working. It didn't work. It's not working. There's someone here who was pointing fingers that is overindulging in some type of someone was criticizing you someone could have said you are someone that's trashy or just like someone that you you don't commit to that you just you know you like you're a toy like you're a play toy uh you know, you're someone from the nightlife. You, you don't take, you don't marry you. Um, this could have been someone who is part of a party scene that was criticizing you. Um, you dodged these bullets. Yeah, someone was trying to say that you're like, you're not someone that you marry. This could also be someone that actually is trying to, like, they were trying, this could be like some type of a marriage arrangement where really, you know, you could have been in a relationship with someone here and they were trying to get their own 
child to be with this person instead of you and it's really this person that was watching you and this other person that you were with a real connection with someone but they wanted their own child there could be an arrangement here so they try to accuse you of being something trashy like that you were just there for someone's money or that there's something about you just hang like a hanger on or a groupie But the irony is that if that's what this is, there could be someone who was, you were, you got someone's attention or they wanted this masculine and to, they wanted to replace you. But I feel like it was the connection that you were in with someone that was drawing someone's attention, which would mean that in a lot of ways they were the one that was like, you know, I hate the word, but groupy. If this isn't an ex, someone was definitely trying to, you know, devalue you. Like, say you're some sort of nightlife person and, you know, queen of wands, you might be very attractive or very enigmatic, you know, or you're just, you're just hanging out because you want something or you're a user. I feel like they could have been trying to bully you, bully you online. They were waiting for something. It's not happening. You are hi highly thought of. So someone here, you're, some, someone here who parties a lot themselves or tries to make themselves look like they're, they're rich or is all about trying to, you know, make appearances. They're all about appearances. They did something that was not smart. You're not ghosted. And they're coming across as somebody that is very arrogant. They were arrogant about money or appearances, trying to make something come across a certain way. Somebody could be self-medicating. They're in denial. They were very arrogant about something. They hate that you're highly thought of. Yeah. Ego under the deck. So I don't know if it's like whose family this is. Someone could have tried to say that, you know, don't make you the offer because you might be a user who is just after someone's money. Just to totally the opposite of, you know, the truth. With this five here, you could be in entertainment. So this could have to do with being seen in the fifth house. They could definitely be, well, this could also have to do with, um, you, uh, they could have been trying to say you're not a good parent or that you wouldn't be a good parent. This could be something about children here as well. They're in their ego. There's a lot of arrogance here. But the whole point of this is that there's some sort of extreme information. A family is in sorrow because they have an unsuccessful outcome to a problem. They criticized you. They try to say you're something you're not, but you're, you are highly thought of. So they went, they did all of this and now they're the ones that are like, trying to cover up their pain or something like that, trying to manipulate a situation. Someone could be sick over what happened. Someone was very arrogant. Someone is in denial. Someone could be denying that they did something to you on purpose, trying to manipulate a situation. Someone could have been trying to manipulate something energetically that is doing a lot of substance use here. They try to do something on purpose to you. You're not ghosted. They can't handle the fact that you're not ghosted. Somebody 
and they look arrogant. There's something about how someone just seems very entitled in regards to you, what they did here. Again, it's like the optics. And there's definitely something about religion or just very dogmatic thinking. This family, family sorrow. Wedding, gift reverse. They didn't want you to get the gift. Or they didn't think you had the gift. Offer reverse, gift reverse, wedding. So I have wedding, affair, love, romance. Um, trying to stop someone from coming towards you. There could be someone that was giving someone advice. Like they're an expert in this. They're very haughty. Whoever these people are, very haughty, arrogant. It has to do with loyalty. Someone want, maybe was trying to say that someone should be loyal to the family. Yeah, to sweetheart reverse. Not to choose you. I think someone's mask came off though. Someone doesn't know what they're talking about. You're not someone's foe. There's something about a party scene. You don't party a lot. Or there's a party scene that was criticizing you all the time. But you have a lot of good karma. It's all showing. Yeah, there's something about this wife reverse. The one that's partying. That was con This person was partying a lot. Or accusing you of partying a lot. They're in the reverse. People could be now criticizing this person. You're not anyone's enemy. There could be another feminine energy involved. It could be a sibling, a cousin, another feminine energy involved in this, or there could be someone, you know, on your behalf saying something's not true. Something is over for sure. Death or someone was trying to end something for you. Someone was trying to stop someone from helping you, criticizing you, trying to stop this masculine from helping you, from coming towards you, by criticizing you. It didn't work. Someone still sees you. This bullying isn't working. Or if anything, someone sees someone as a bully. Someone could have been making up lies. Someone could have been saying you're not an expert at something. Such as this Queen of Wands. There's something that you've mastered. There could be a friend operating on your behalf or someone sees you as loyal. Something is over. Queen of Wands. You are highly thought of. Someone is trying to manipulate you. They're very upset. They, um, wow. Death. Something is over here. They're very upset because you are highly thought of. Scholar reverse. They didn't read the fine print or they don't want something to be... If you're in the public eye and these people are in the public eye, they don't want people to read about what happened. Publicity reverse. Scholar reverse. They don't want people to know what they did but there's some sort of receipts or this these are people who didn't want you to be seen there's still something missing from this reading there's definitely still something missing from this reading i feel that's why it came up again not to say that the other reading doesn't have information. I just almost feel like this is a part two or something. There's more here. There's more to this. Because for the most part, you know, you know that these people have been doing this. 
You, you know there's a family involved. You know that there's clarity about who you are. You know, you know that people are seeing past the illusion, the lies. You know that. You know that somebody's been trying to block you romantically. You know that. And you know that it has to do with money. You know that there is like some type of, um, you know, prejudgment here, prejudice involved as well having to do with your culture, your race, your religion, something like that. There's greed. There's definitely a karmic feminine in, involved and their family or family wanting someone to choose this karmic feminine, but something's backfiring. Something's backfiring. Yeah, because you, you're seen as victorious. Six of Wands. There could be a King of Swords reverse involved. Too many people involved. Everyone seems like they had some type of reason to block a relationship. Death under the deck. Someone could be passing on from this. Because I feel like the universe doesn't take kindly to something that is, you know, blooming in accordance with the rest of nature and if anything they're falling from grace um ten of cups there's something about your happiness and a happy family and you being juggled or someone playing games it's your happily ever after. So that's one of the things that always seems to come up in these readings is that, you know, what is motivating these people? There's greed, you know, there's greed, there's judgment, but there's always, there's something very strange, you know, about someone being almost like offended by or wanting to block your happiness, your everlasting joy for some reason. But someone might see you as this Ten of Cups. Someone wanted to juggle, juggle their Ten of Cups. So that's, that means that someone knew someone saw you as their Ten of Cups or someone sees you as that you haven't met yet. Ten of Cups, they, have a, they fail because of this Ten of Cups because you can't fake a Ten of Cups. That's genuine energy. This happy family, this happily ever after. Domestic happiness. You not being in the cold. Someone wanted you out in the cold. Someone was really obstinate about wanting someone to walk away or for you to walk away. Maybe from what makes you happy or someone was obstinate about someone walking away from you the world justice karma is playing out there's definitely something about your good karma here something coming to i feel like also you being earnest something coming to completion here the moon they could be confused or they try to cause confusion Someone who's very evil-minded created confusion here. They were trying to block your passion. This Queen of Swords reverse was trying to block someone's passion towards you. This King of Swords sees everything, though. They see this these people being in competition with you or trying to create a battle on behalf of this Queen of Swords reverse or this Queen of Swords is part this kind of swords reverse is part of whatever this is, trying to block someone's passion. Someone could have been using words to criticize you so that someone wouldn't be attracted to you or to block a divine spark to create failure. They could have tried to block a business or your creativity. A family could have tried to block you with a group of people from joining together with someone and that this 
they wanted this party person here, this Queen of Swords reverse, instead of you. And during this, you know, arranged marriage, this Queen of Swords reverse was criticizing you so that you can't work. Maybe because they didn't want you to be seen because something would, a natural conclusion about what kind of a person you are, because there was some sort of arrangement here, they were putting you down or blocking you for some reason. And this Queen of Swords reverse was trying to put you down or block your creativity or block someone from seeing you. They were trying to make you out to be trash. They were trying to make you out to be trash. It had to do with an offer, an opportunity. They were talking badly about you. Yeah, a Queen of Wands reverse, very witchy, jealous person. Or they were trying to say you're overbearing and jealous, irrational, quick to take offense. They were trying to cause confusion about you in regards to your work. And they were love blowing people while they were doing it. But there's some sort of message. And it's blocked. Because of whatever this is that implicates them, it's blocking the way people feel about this person. Yeah, they're punished. Well, you, you know, by the universe, or people don't want to deal with them. There's a king of wands in the upright who sees you. This, you know, this is a leader. Um, they see, they see this, what someone did out of ego and arrogance, and there's someone else here involved that feels like they made a mistake. People could be reading something, watching something, learning something. Something about the facts. Definitely someone, you reap what you sow. Someone did something in the past and block someone who's very innocent. But you are also this high priest. They weren't expecting you to be this wise and intuitive. Something's definitely coming out about someone trying to block, you know, block your light. Stop you from being seen. Trying to keep you in some type of a drama. This Queen of Pentacles reverse. Someone who's real superficial. They can't stand that you're having this new start and that there's a king of pentacles on your side here yeah that has some sort of clarity that could be coming towards you with this love relationship and everything that they did is backfiring yeah it's over or there's someone who's passing on someone could be walking away they're experiencing a lot of endings they still don't want to listen to their better judgment someone is making something right or fair or someone sees you as charitable someone's done a lot of deep thinking about this as you heal from something, as someone's making something right in regards to this rash behavior. Four of Wands, Two of Cups. It's a relationship, it's a milestone, it's a connection, it's a soulmate, it's a happy home. Someone making an offer, someone thinking about you and these loving, with this loving energy. And it's all these people that are trying to block it. That, but I think this person knows that. That's why it's over. They're an emperor. And this Queen of Cups reverse can't defend themselves because you're also very independent. You endured something having to do with this Hierophant reverse, Nine of Cups reverse, people overly indulging in something who maybe had some sort of like institutional position or very religious. Be, trying to bully you, abusing your power, trying to block your blessings, 
now and create a nightmare for you. They're gonna have to let go. Right now they feel like they, they're trying to block this tower, but this King of Swords sees everything. Is helping you with your strength, your willpower. There's something about these people very foolish, careless with this devilish energy, reckless, obsessed, and that's what they're going to have to contend with. Um, so I'm sure there's more to play out here with this. This is sort of the second read coming out about these people getting exposed for trying to change the way you're viewed and block your opportunities. Um, but really, it not working, it backfiring, but someone's real arrogant. They still aren't seeing how this is going to go. Um, but they're upset because someone's realizing that it was all a bunch of hot air and that it's based in some type of jealousy, ego, bigotry, greed. And that there's like a lot of people involved and someone knows that you endured this. Someone knows that you made it through this too on top of everything else. And that you're a sweet person and someone has these sweet feelings for you. They could be this King of Swords. This King of Swords is Archangel Michael, or they're an investigator, but there is someone else here. I don't know if this masculine is from your past that uh, is figuring something out, um, or if this is someone new. It, it feels like soulmate energy. It feels like a new start to me, so perhaps not someone from your past um, either way. Either way, this lie is breaking down. Um, someone could have definitely used some type of like religion against you, or this could be like a religious family. Someone could have tried to make someone feel afraid of committing to you, like you would, um, you're just after someone's money. resonate with this message um yeah I, I hope that it helps i know um that there's something more to this message here it's not coming out yet um i don't know what it is yet i'm gonna do another read i think um later i see you know you're doing the right thing um you are Highly thought of. Or highly thought of. For his name, this message, I hope that it helps. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.